Hello okay, guys, to today we're gonna be playing Alan Wake 2. Wait a minute, no. Let's see, where, 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 where's my thing at? It's Alan Wake 2? No, no, no. Alan Wake 2. That's right. Today we finally get to go and experience this game. Heard it has a lot of graphics, really good game overall, and so I'm really excited for it. So let's see what we get. But without further ado, I'm on the game. All right, let's go. Let's do story because I don't want to play this game in a hard level because I know how difficult it could get. So I'm all, I'm all pass. Aquí estamos en Bachequial y Torre, tú sabes. We all come to a story with hopes and expectations, looking for an answer. Sometimes it would be better to live with that hope without ever knowing the full story. Yo jugué la parte una, lo único que no me acuerdo mucho de ella. Yo lo que sé es que he's a writer, un escritor. In a horror story, there are um, and monsters. And the trick is he goes to a vacation either. last time or the something like that. Genre, we are all ripped to pieces along the way. And then the house was haunted or something like that. And, you know, somewhere down that line. But I know he was a writer. That's as far as I know. This story will eat us alive. This story is a monster. And monsters wear many. I know I should have played the first one first, but. Yeah, whatever. Because I don't know if this follows with the first one. Y'all let me know in the comments if that's what it is. But. I was dying to play this one, and hey, let's go with it. Ooh, what the? F what the hell is going on here? Yo, this guy's completely naked, my guy. Wow. Okay. Okay. First of all. Wow. Okay. Graphics are incredible. Wow. I'm actually blown away. Se ve demasiado duro. All right, let's see, because I know this is not Alan, that's for sure. Alan tiene tal pelo largo y todo, so ni nada tan viejo ni tan gordo tampoco. I guess we're going this way. Can I walk faster? Oh, snap. Somebody up there. Two people up there. Uh, help? Bro, don't go. All right. Nobody wants to uh, save the old fat dude naked. Yeah, I know that I can, can come off a little wrong when I'm naked, but... Don't need help. I'm going to Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ya empezamos con la vocecita. What the? Oh, okay. I thought I was something up there moving. Yo no sé ni pa' dónde voy. Yo creo que por aquí. Oh, oh don't do that. Don't. Oh, travel doodles.
nobody told me is this type of game. Oh, you idiot. All right, we got to get out of these woods, man. Wow. Talk about freaking waking up, dude. You can sprint by. Oh, thank you for telling me that. Oh, boy. It's not like he's walking any faster. Yeah. Oh, ho, 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 ho. <laughs> Where do you go? All right, I don't know if <sighs> Okay, I can't go up through there so I gotta go Continue through here. I can barely see you guys. Oh My god Please, whatever it is, just leave me alone. Ooh. No, 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 no. Get away, get away, get away. Get away! Shoot! Run, run, run! Oh, God. Holy moly. What are they doing, dude? Oh, God, no. Oh. Oh, that's bad. Oh, no. Oh. Bro, this is like not even 10 minutes into this game. What is going on with these people? Wow. Yes. That was a good title. That was an awesome freaking title, by the way. But that's crazy, dude. Like 10 minutes into the game and that happened. Hey, kiddo. How are you? I'm good, mom. How are you? This trip might take a little longer than I thought. I'm sorry I've been gone so much lately, Logan. Oh my god, mom. It's not your fault. People get all murdery. What happened? Just murdery? The out. freak? Well, Dad and I are just watching the latest episode of Night Springs here. Mom, it's so good. No spoilers. I'll let you get back to the show. You were supposed to wait and watch with me. I'm having a hard time what happens when you go on work trips, Mom? seeing the image as a video game. Like, right now, I think I'm just watching like a movie. I will. Bye, kiddo. So... That's how good this game looks. I hope the video can justify the quality of Logan. the game. Damn, that looked like old Max Payne, dude. Snarky kid. Wonder where she gets that from. He looked like a remastered version of Max Payne. Why do they drink coffee at the same time? That's kind of weird. It can't be a coincidence that another and it looked like robots. Feels like the killer's leaving us a message. Hmm. I'm glad you're on this case with me, Anderson. It's right up your alley. Bro, it's incredible that he looks like Max Payne, dog. And he kind of talks like him too. Any words of advice? 
Wait a minute. Nothing. Yo, put that in the comments if that is Max Payne. Because I do got a feeling like that's the actual actor of Max Payne back in the in the video game. Here we are. Cauldron Lake. Dude, it's the same voice too. Time that's to bro. I I'm I'm pretty sure it's him, but y'all y'all let me know. A deputy was supposed to be here to show us to the crime scene. There's the car. So where's the deputy? <laughs> Dude, I get bear. thrown into the game like that, oh, bro. That Invitation. Turn one. Uh, worth memorizing. Before we get swallowed up. Uh, oh, wrong button. So we are here. Duh. It's not telling us where we're going, but oh, oh, wait a minute. Goals. Get to the crime scene. Find the deputies. Okay. Yeah, I'm assuming it's this way. This is the only way we could actually go. Uh,. Stay close to me, Max. To hey, over here. I'm gonna call you Max because I I'm pretty sure you're Max Payne. Hey there. Agent Casey, right? Sheriff Raker said you'd be coming by to take over the case. You're half right. Anderson. I'm in charge. Saga here. Anderson. I'll be leading this case. Seems you already know my partner, Alex Casey. That is not Alex Casey. That's Max Payne. That, ma I, I'm Deputy Mulligan. I just figured that, you know, that. Uh... So, where your last name? Mulligan. 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 Crime scene. He's not what you call the sharpest axe in the shed. Right here? This location is close to the public and order of the FBC. Uh, I can use a briefing. Any witness to the crime? Were there any witnesses? Yeah, a couple out of towners. I wonder what they were doing sneaking around the woods at night. Not that we have anything against city folk, right, Thornton? But don't worry, Sheriff Breaker took them back to town a while ago. I can use a briefing. Let's take a look at the body. What can you tell us about the crime scene? Tell me about the heart. I was getting to that point. Well, we reckon there are some uh, organs that are currently outside the victim's person when they yeah. should be. But you know. No, duh. Know. He did them dirty. Or uh, what the I'm pressing buttons here like I want to see the body. How do we get there? Oh, sure, that's real simple. Just through the hole in the fence, down the hill towards the lake, around the old convenience store. You can't miss it. Everything's been closed since the area was fenced off. The store, the campground, all of it. So they're sheriff, we're FBI. Okay. All right, let's go, Max. I refuse to call you whatever else. Review the facts of the case so far. Make sure I'm seeing the clues clearly. Uh, you can access the case board inside. Of, okay. The mine place. My version of the mind palace technique to sift through clues and work the case, building the mind place again for each case, using each field office as a model in my head. The facts are on the board. Everything we know about the previous murders, worth taking another look.
So all victims reported missing in 2010. No other. Okay. And we got that lane dentist stab wounds blow. Okay. And then we have Wendy Davis te teacher. Body blood alert. Okay. We don't. Oh, and we got the stuff on the bottom. Percy Wolf blood on there. Ranch tattoos. Hmm. All body experience bloating. Deep gash in the chest. Heart missing. And then what is that here? You're now free to investigate by, okay. Goals, get to the crime scene, meet the deputy. Okay, so let's go. And this is the map. This is the case board, okay. <clears throat> is there anything else that we need to, so I guess this is like, I see you're already hard at oh, work, damn. Anderson. Visiting the mine plans to We're just getting started. So be mindful Let's of head nearby down the hill threats. To the crime scene. Oh, snap. So that means I can access that mind. Gives me a headache. There's too much sky. What the freak? I can, dude. So I can access this place on a push of a button. That's interesting. And uh, that's for exit. Okay, oh, that's pretty cool. It did say that it was not. It didn't pause the game, so I can't access that while I'm being attacked or something. So we got to keep that in mind. Hey, Casey, you putting me in charge? Why now? Look, Anderson, you're a better detective than I am. You've cracked cases that had the rest of us baffled. I don't want to slow you down. Are you thinking of retiring? You know what happens to cops who say this is their last case. Mm -hmm. Real funny, Anderson. It's the same. I'm getting the same setting as the first game because it was just like this, like in the woods, going down, going up. So... Same setting as the first one. See, there we go. No stairs. Mirror peak. Okay. The mighty mountain in the distance is no other than a man. Uh, mirror peak. The iconic landmark overlooking uh, from the right angle. His beauty will reflect. Calm surface of the lake mirrored in the okay glory. All right, sure thing. Should have brought an umbrella. I like the rain. The only thing around here that feels like home. You think the local law had the sense to put up a tarp? <laughs> if they did, okay. That's coffee's on me. All right, so we keep going down the rabbit hole, but general store in the woods. Okay, I guess is normal. Yep, there's a store. And there's uh Thornton, I guess his name is. Deputy Thornton, I yeah. think That's me, at your service, ready to get this case solved. Now the body's behind the store. Come Yo, on. Yo, the freak, you. man. Can I grab this? Oh, can't grab that. 
shootout with the mom we forgot a UFO cover up all right let's investigate here um see something here Did I collect that or I guess I took a picture, I guess. Yo ni sé qué fue lo que pasó ahí. Yo creo que si yo creo que agarramos una fue una foto. A ver aquí, aquí no hay nada, ¿verdad? No. Pantalón aquí, parece que alguien estaba durmiendo aquí. And oh, what do we have here? Monday nine three. Some suspicious activity spotted the uh, the field. Suspicious footprints around the area were found, but some compromised by the field. Okay, Tuesday nine four. Nothing to report. Some animals regular. All right, um, hunter. Gunshots, no, okay. So I guess somebody was. Um, is there something else I'm supposed to grab or no? Okay. Maybe, okay, so. Alguien está cogiendo nota or investigando. That door is locked. All right, so I think this that is it for this building. Lo mejor alguien está investigando, cogió nota. And yeah, that was the notes. Let's put this away and let's go. Come on, Max. Okay. There's a map, same map that I have. Any idea who the victim is? Oh, I sure do. His name is Nightingale. He was FBI. He came to oh my God, Nightingale. Or oh, he's one of us. I haven't heard a word about him since. Well, until now. Nightingale. Robert yeah. Nightingale. Oh yes, you probably knew him, brothers. Oh, so arms. you knew him. Oh, and sister. So, clues can be discovered by speaking to people as well as by examining your surroundings. Okay, so Nightingale, so you knew the victim, Mr. Max. Didn't recognize him in his current state. But yeah, I ran into him a few times at Quantico. Never worked any cases together. After his partner got killed in the field, he went off the deep end. Got the boot pretty quick after that. Okay, so what happened after he got fired? So he's been missing since 2010? Nightingale went missing 13 years ago. 2010. The same as oh, okay, okay. So it is in... So we are in 2023. Okay. She's just confirmed that. Oh, wait a minute. What's going on here? What happened after he got fired? what happened to Nightingale after the Bureau let him go? I only know the rumors. Depression led to booze. Booze led to paranoia. He got some wild ideas in his head. Chased ghosts until he fell off the map. Guess he ended up here. I bet there's more to that story. But no happy ending. All right. So case board. So. Dude, if that's not Max Payne, bro. All right, so I don't know why we put in. I trust Casey. People sounds like our victim was in stable. That's not right. Robert Nightingale, ex FBI. Came to Bright Falls 13 years ago. Right. Oh, 
Okay. So yeah, we're gonna to happen here. Passing the time with equipment ready. They were waiting for him. Yeah, they were. But why Nightingale? He's been missing for 13 years. Why here? Why now? Profiling. Get into the subject's head. See what they saw. Feel what they felt. Use whatever I know about them to guide my intuition to a revelation. Okay. Piece it together. You can uh, use profiling in this mind place and get inside the heads. Okay. Agent Nightingale has been MIA for 13 years. How did he end up here? Out from the lake that's not a lake. It's dark. He was there too. Okay, this is crazy. Like, is if is this what a detective has has to go through? Like, de verdad, de verdad, así tan intenso. Okay, so what about ritual murder? Why? Click the switch. It goes click. Lights are off. That somebody's home. Somebody's home. This wasn't some random act of violence. This was a ritual. A nightingale, a component. They didn't see him as a person. More like a container for something. Okay. So. Profile. And Gil came from. Okay. Lake. Check the lake shore. Okay. Good to see you still in one piece, Anderson. The forest can be a dangerous place. Yeah, I'm not gonna. Hunches, Anderson. I'm not gonna wander Something off by myself. I so. I came up from that direction, from a lake. Probably looking for shelter, safety. Is this where the lake? For him. When you're ready, I'd love to hear what you put together so far. Sure. It's not that complicated. Nightingale was out in the woods alone at night, possibly nude. The killers knew he was here, ambushed him, dragged him to the campgrounds. Strapped him to the table, cut his heart out. But then they were interrupted by those witnesses, the bookers. The job is unfinished. That seems pretty complicated okay. to me. Okay. I guess that's another way. I doing skinny dipping at this time of year? I haven't figured that part out yet. Mm -hmm. I don't think he was skinny dipping, Lots bro. Of questions. Lots of answers for us to find. I didn't know trees got that big. He might have been dragged. You need to get out more. It is kind of creepy, though. It is. Oh, snap. Here you go. We got footprints. There's we a got piece a of paper on the piece ground. of paper. Tracks. Barefoot. Nightingales? What does it say? A page full of text on one side. Not a printout. Written with a typewriter. Old school. Lines scratched out and edits added with a pen. Mm hmm. Like a manuscript. A page of a story. Hmm. Killer left a message. FBI Special Agent Robert Nightingale. And then there was the page they found. The first step down into terrifying depths. Reading, Reading the, the words. words. These, These words, words felt, like a message. felt like a message. Someone knew they were here. Someone playing a game with them. An invitation. Oh, that's Alan, bro. Even if they knew it would end up hurting. Someone's been watching us. 
playing a sick game with us. You were right. This is right up my alley. Nightingale came Figure this out way. what happened to Nightingale. Either he dropped this page, or the killers left it for us. I should profile Nightingale about this page. All right. Even though it's cool that you can go back and forth between this room and uh, and the actual world, I still also feel like, oh, there we go. Um, like it actually takes some time, like for you to go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth every time you find like a clue. So, but let's see. The victim was one of their own. FBI Special Agent Robert Nightingale gone missing here 13 years ago. That way it suddenly turned up, only to be murdered in a brutal ritual on the very day of their arrival. And then there was the page. This page, the first page that they had found, not the last. The first step down into terrifying depths, secret truths trembling beyond the threshold. Reading the words, these words, felt like a message. Was a message. Someone knew they were here, what they were doing. Someone playing a game with them, leading them on. An invitation. How could they not accept? The sheer audacity of this impossible mystery presented to them, even if they knew it would end up hurting them. Okay, so now I have to profile it, I guess. So I have to come this way. And all right, let's see. What do we got? The page. In the woods. A story about these events. What is Nightingale's role in this? I carry his words close to my chest now. Inside the awful truth. You must dig it out. Something was put inside him, in his chest. I must know uh, what. Yeah? What do you mean something was put on his chest? Okay, so the footprints. And then also the... Trail. I think he came from the lake. But his tracks make no sense. All right, hold up, because <sighs> okay. So what about in the killer section? No, victim section. Hmm. Right here. Found all I can here. Time to properly examine the body. See what I can find inside. Ask the deputy to move the body. Casey, I think something's been put inside Nightingale's body. Let's tell the deputies to get the body to the town morgue. Okay. So are we going? I guess we're going back this way, right? Whoever wrote that page made sure it read like a story. Yeah, let's run, bro, because I ain't got time to be I hate all of it. walking like, oh, wait, more. no, not going that way. It. Come on, but keep going. Purpose? Don't let it drag you in. Too late. I'm already hooked. I need the next chapter. I hope you didn't get stuck in any of those big puddles. Crazy flooding down there, huh? Just like I said. Deputy, I want the body taken back to town for a proper examination, ASAP. Well, sure, but the coroner won't be back in town for another week after Deerfest. Not a problem. I'll do it myself. Oh, and Sheriff Breaker called to say he's got the bookers at the Oh Dear Diner in town. Oh, and I've got a key 
to the gate. It's a shortcut back to the parking lot just up the hill. Okay. Thanks. At the diner, right? I, I could use a cup of coffee. Let's try that shortcut the deputy mentioned. Sounds good. Oh, we're here. Seems like a nice right. town so far. Go, Max. Side. Pretty woods. Cute lodge we got set up in. We should right. go for a hike if She's we like pretty woods. Mm hmm. Deputies you find some exactly wild task, freaking animals that can rip your face help. off. Not a surprise about the deputies. Doubt they see much stuff this gruesome. Um, the heck is this? I'll be back in a second. Roger. Whoa. What is, is that this? a kid's lunchbox? An Alex Casey movie lunchbox. We own this together as heroes. About coincidentally having, having the same name as a day. big detective. He hates those cheesy crime books. But he really hates the movie. Okay. Clever way of doing that. Go up the stairs here. Can't fit the clues all together yet. Heart removed, tripod, tracks leading to a dead end. Tripod for a camera? To yep. Record a snuff film? Maybe. And why take out his heart just to throw it away? To stuff in something for us to find. I don't think that was the purpose. I think they, they actually took whatever was inside. And I guess it was close to the heart and they had to take the heart out, I guess. All right. Show me the way, Max. This way. But come on, Max. Put some pep into it, bro. Here's the car. Here we are. Let's drive back to town and meet the sheriff at the diner. I can't get that manuscript page out of my head. I've never seen killers reach out so directly before. Damn impressive work so far. With your technique, these hunches were moving fast. I, I wasn't sure about taking a case home so far from the... home, but I'm thrilled to be here for this mystery. Need to swing by the lodge to get anything from the field office? No, I'm all set. Lady first here. Anyway. Oh, dear. I want to walk to the diner, get a feel for the town. Freaking game looks amazing. Looks so freaking real. The diner's just up the waterfront. Shouldn't keep the sheriff and our witnesses waiting. I smell coffee. So why do we can we park here? Um oh, Max. Hey. Just how much coffee have you had today, Charlie? <laughs> what the heck is going on here? Uh, okay. I guess they're promoting the diner. Not to toot my own horn, but I am pretty darn sure my actually pretty cool. Oh, here's a diner. Dude, this looks amazing with chairs. Let me guess. Up oh, here's the sheriff. Welcome to Bright Falls. It's nice to have you here. I got you both some coffee. Oh, it's. Washington's finest. Nice to meet you, Sheriff. I'm set for coffee. You know, I wouldn't say no to another. I'm Agent Saga Anderson. This is Agent Alex Casey. Tim Breaker. And let me just say, I'm happy you two are here. Frankly, we could use the help. 
Your deputies said you had a couple of witnesses here. They made them sound like suspects. Mulligan and Thornton are still on about that? No, no. The bookers don't strike me. You know, we could have just sat down He's in the diner and talk about it, right? They're or just, just sit somewhere. I'll see what they have Not like right in the front Easy, of the door. Notes with the sheriff. Take your time. Wait, so what am I doing? We've looked through the case files you sent over, Sheriff. Have you had many people besides the known victims go missing? Sure. But it's slowed down ever since Cauldron Lake was fenced off. Let me guess. Missing person cases spiked around 2010. The fence was built just after. Yeah, that's exactly right. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna drink two. You can go ahead, Anderson. We'll be here. Oh, okay. My bad. I'm supposed to go inside, right? Can't believe that's happening. I still feel like I'm gonna be sick. Come on, Ed. Have some pie. Don't take your mind off things. Alright, who am I supposed to talk to? This guy right here? No. Take it easy. I feel these old coffee. Poor Caesar Pie is a job. This jukebox. It's out of order. The poor old thing can only take so much time. Same thing for it over and over. Yeah, big fan of coconut and I can't get it. Exactly All right. Can't go over there because only employees. Oh, here we go. Are you the Brooker? Excuse me. I'm Agent Saga Anderson. Are you the Bookers? That's us. I'm Our Tammy Bookers. and he's Ed. Brookers. Oh, officer. Just Saga is fine, Ed. So are we being charged with anything? Because if not, we'd love to get back to our hotel and decompress after what we saw. Take a bath. Damn, a chill, pillow, girl. Kind of Trying to find charging. out what the hell happened. I just have a few questions. Nothing to stress about, okay? No, all right. Calm down. What were you doing at Colton Lake last night? Another writer. Jesus. Everybody's a writer in this game. I was down at the lake getting some details. Perfectly legal. I hate that she's being a smart ass. So what did you see in the woods? This naked Or she's having like lake. she got this attitude. He was acting crazy, shouting weird shit at us. He must have been on something. Unless skinny dipping at dawn is a thing around here. Then we heard shooting. We ran into these psychos in deer masks. They were tearing into the naked guy with knives. Like some kind of satanic cult. And then we bolted and called the cops. Why are we talking about this like in a diner? Like where you see that there's a guy right there that looked like a murderer right there. And then you have this girl by herself that's doing God knows what on her phone. I can't tell. So maybe this was not a good scenario. What makes you say it was a cult? <laughs> the masks and knives aren't enough. They were shouting, cult of the tree. Yeah, the that guy looks tree. definitely like a cult freaking murderer tree. himself right oh. there. And then we found out. The whole thing was terrifying. That's all. Mm. What are you holding back, little girl? You saw that, right? She was, she was holding back. The cult of the tree. What are the bookers telling me? I found their necklace. The symbol is two triangles. The cult wants their spruce. Tree saw how they held back something and like she was like, shh, no le digan a. The publisher will want this on hmm. the cover. Tammy found something. A necklace belonging to one of the cultists. The bookers were at Cauldron Lake. Why? The fence was built to hide what's there. They say the rider fell in the lake. Private party. No trespassing. 
My book has questions. Past the bolt cutters. They broke in for the sake of Tammy's book. Nothing to do with a murder. They were telling the truth. Yeah, but that doesn't take away that. That she was like, shh. So you found something there, right? A necklace these cultists may have dropped. Okay. Wow. How did you put that together? It's evidence. You need to hand it over. Exactly. Give me the necklace, bruh. Okay. I told you not to keep that thing near me. Grab that necklace. Thanks. This could prove to be helpful. Do me a favor. Stick around town for now in case we have any more questions. <laughs> it's like reading in a dream, isn't it? Being here with them. Oh, God. Saga! Saga Anderson. As I live and breathe. And who I are you? I never see you back here after that awful awful thing happened to your baby girl how are you um i'm sorry who are you yes who the frick are you about. it's me silly rose you know me i don't think i do and what horrible thing happened to my baby girl she drowned your daughter so weird you don't remember how do you know I have a daughter oh I know what this is you're blocking out your traumatic memories oh my god bro all the time no who the freak is her you're mistaking me for someone else yes you are dude if you say so but she did call you by your name dude Okay, that was extremely weird. Although I do I did find a necklace in this. Alright, see you later, Psycho. Oh, I got questions for her. Hmm. Seen anything out of the ordinary in town lately? Suspicious people in deer masks? No one's suspicious. But soon enough, there will be lots of happy people wearing deer masks for deer fest. Practically everyone will be wearing one. Good to know. So that Rose, day, they're going to camouflage how do you think we know each around other? town. We, we won't even know. Her around here. It's been a while, but I never forget a face or a coffee order. Guess I just have one of those faces. Yeah, bro. Still confusing me. You later, Psycho. All set. My guys have Nightingale at the morgue if you're ready to go take a look. Let's go. Well, Casey, I got a lead. Looks like we're dealing with a cult. The cult of the tree. The murder cult. Fuck. Have you heard of this cult of the tree, Sheriff? Only the urban legend. If you're in the woods. You're, you're not fooling anybody, bro. I don't know what you're sweeping. Because the street is freaking clean. Are we? I played some D and D back in the day. This guy looks like he's taking a break, but he's really not on a break. Ah, morning, Ted. Yeah, real important guest. Deer fest. Always draws a crowd, right? <laughs> Too true. More the merrier. Have a good one, Sheriff. Damn, lay off the coffee, dude. Oh, look how pretty the mountain. Hey, what do you know about that waitress from the diner? Rose? Yeah, she's a bit of a space case. She always has been. She's crazy, right? What'd she do now? She kept saying that my daughter drowned. She even knew my name. It was all very weird. Rose has a talent for saying the weirdest thing possible. But best not to take it personally. Hey, boss. Corpse is downstairs ready to go. Yep, in the morgue, all prepped. I'd like to take a closer look as soon as possible. Lead the way, Sheriff. Oh, this You're is right. the Bright Falls yes, Sheriff Station. Yep, Anything yep. you need, just, just go. Let us ticket. know. We appreciate Never the support, Sheriff. Damn, yeah, why are you pushing me, Max? Come on, man. We're going to the same place. 
So we share a morgue with the funeral home next door. It's a shoestring budget. I guess you guys don't have that problem, though. Our only coroner rotates between a few other towns. Ooh, to what do we have hey, here? Right? That I'm Twix? I'm qualified to perform examinations. Yeah. Locos, some chips, I guess. I don't know. What in the heck? Something about morgues. They always cheer me up. I can't say I feel the same. He's joking. Oh, Lord. Turn on some lights. Whoa, what the? Wait, whoa, stop. Damn, hey, whoa. Jesus. I hate when they push me, man. Oh, that's the reflection. Okay. What the? Let's take a look at our patient. I'll start with the external inspection before performing the internal examination. Up oh, there goes his PB again. Jesus, cover that what thing. What cause of death? What other clues can the body? There's writing on here. Writing on out. the heart. Okay. Writing. How'd they manage that? That's what I'm saying. It looks like text. A tattoo. Nightingale didn't strike me as a tattoo guy. You can't even make out what it says, though. Submerged in water post mortem. It doesn't add up. Defensive wounds. They put up a fight. Hmm. Uh huh. They did leave something inside his chest. Time to see what Nightingale's body can tell us. That's not right. Text is smudged. Looks inverted. Heart can't have been marked before removal. There's definitely something in his chest. Did the killer? Oh die? boy. This is crazy, dude. Cause of bloating on no strange chest. Okay. Here's the new map of where I am. Point of interest. Conversation, new choices. Uh, sheriff station. So I guess I'm here. Maybe this, oh, uh, this is the diner. And then this is a uh, point of interest. Okay. Pretty freaking small town. Oh boy. Ah, uh, what's that looks gross. What in the world? It's the same type of page we found at Cauldron Lake. Bro, and you're not even wearing gloves. You nasty. Didn't see her. The taken could not see into bright light. Light hurt them, made them vulnerable. Nightingale had no heart, but here he was, killing. Someone's created a fucked up fantasy about us. Hey, hold on. We found these kinds of pages. Ah, oh, shit. To this case.
a lot of pages though. Shoot him. Fucking shoot him. Dude, what was in that coffee back at the diner? I know this ain't real. This has got to be her hallucinating having a bad dream something I'll make you pay. supposed to be dead man Try to stay in the light to avoid being detected by enemies. Um, light here. Gun is out in the hall. What hall, bruh? Save him to restore some of your health. If you leave or are attacked from a safe. Right on a Where? What hallway, dude? That hallway? Only. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Vanished. What the freak did I just This game is crazy. All right, and there you guys have it. I'm gonna end it up here because it's a nice way of ending the chapter as it says chapter end. Uh, so yeah, very interesting game, not gonna lie. It has is jump scares, so I'm, I'm, that's a plus for me. Good graphics, of course nice gameplay i still got to get to the hold of the case investigation and putting things together obviously we'll progress as we get uh more and more into the game but nothing there you go part one like i said i'll see you guys on the next one with part two peace